outcrop of the day today is this big exposure of yellow mush. And frankly, I've got no idea what it is, or at least I've got no idea what it was. It's mostly pyrophyllite, and that suggests a high sulfidation alteration system in an epithermal environment. It's all stained yellow because of the pyrite in that alteration. But I've frankly got no idea what the original rock type was. You can see some sort of vague bedding here, and on the old geological maps, they suggested it should be sediment. So that's a possibility, but it's basically level five on my scale of one to five on alteration intensity. And that means that all of the minerals have been converted to something else, and even the texture's been destroyed. So I've really got no idea what the original rock type was. And that's a good reason why you should never start mapping right in the middle of a mineralization system, because you're looking at rocks which are so messed up that you've just got no idea what they really were. I often go to the middle of the system first off just to have a look at the mineralization and see what kind of things are carrying the grade so that I can recognize them elsewhere. But I always start mapping outside the system. And there's a good example why in an outcrop just over there, because it shows what this rock is before it got screwed up. So here we are a little bit further along strike and this is that same rock type, but much less altered. You can see it's actually a coarse grained lithic tuff. Got lots of big fragments and fiamme in here. And that vague bedding you could see back there is actually alignment of the fragments in the tuff. And as you go that way, you can see a zone of that same high sulfidation epithermal alteration with all the staining from the pyrite and it's clearly structurally controlled. It's around a fracture there with some pyrite in it. Now that gives me two really useful pieces of information. One, I know what the original rock type was, and two, I know the orientation of the structures that are controlling the hydrothermal fluid system. That's gonna be really useful information when I'm trying to sort out the big picture here. So the lesson here is when you come to a new place to start mapping, don't rush into the middle and start mapping there because you'll be struggling to understand what the rock types are. Start outside the system somewhere where you can see it developing and then work inwards. And then you'll be able to recognize what that outcrop is even though it's all screwed up because you will have seen it in the partially altered state and you can see how it develops from this into that.